What worst thing can happen to you than getting slapped in the face by another man? Uh, getting in the butt. I slapped in the butt. You know what? You beat me. That, that is true. That's way worse. <laughs> I'm here with... Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Um, I love your Instagram. Thanks. You're welcome. It's, I appreciate that. It's, we, you know, we work hard on it. We try to keep it positive, keep it fun, you know? No, it's super interactive, and you guys post regularly, and you post really fun content, like the ones where people, like you buy a bunch of shit from the supermarket, and yes. then you make shields out of it, and then you kick the shit out of each other. We do. It's so much fun, dude. So we have our own YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Had to plug it a little bit. Steve Wonderboy Thompson, check it out. It's awesome. But we have all kinds of really cool stuff on there. So, yeah, we just we just have fun. You know, we run a gym back in Simpsonville, South Carolina. And my brother and some of our uh, students who help train, we just get together and we have a good time. You ever um, break anything? Like in your body? from? Because they don't look, some of them don't look well thought out. <laughs> Some, most of the time they're not, no, no, but, but we haven't. Some of them are good, some of them are really good, but then some of them I'm like, there's no way that's gonna work, and it don't. I know, and my brother. it looks my, like it hurts. Totally. My brother Tony's like 285, and he's trying to crush, he's trying to kill us. So we went to like, to Sam's club to, to figure out like, I guess some kicking shields, and we all tested on each other. So, and we have this 285 pound dude trying to like break us, but nobody's broken their bones, nobody's gotten hurt, so just what? wanted to throw that out there. One of them, I think he had like a, Cheez-Its? Yeah, he had like Cheez-Its. Like, what is that going to do? <laughs> and then we had one guy get, he got 5,000 pieces of Laffy Taffy's that we had to unwrap and mold, like squish them together, which, yeah, it was wild. I saw you went to Exuma like a while ago. Yes, it was amazing. Have you been? Okay, yeah, I did. And I saw you saw the pigs. Um, and I want to know if you met the one that attacked me. Oh, no. Yeah, it was the big boy. Yes, okay, there was one big guy who yeah, was really okay. aggressive. Look at this. Oh, he bit me. Where, where did he get you? In the fu he f ran up on me. He ran as fast as he could, and he ran up on me, and he bit what? me in my thigh. Yes, yes. And I couldn't sue him or anything because he's a pig. <laughs> and he bit me with his little stupid mouth. I saw him. I saw him. Next time I go back, I'll take him out for you. He's still there? He's still there. He's been attacking people, and I saw that I wasn't the only one that he attacked. He attacked other people, too, because he was going around. And they let him. They don't put a, they don't. They a don't muzzle do on him or nothing. I want to know what his name is. Did, 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 did he I, have I a don't name? Know, but fing asshole. We're gonna, gonna get him. Name. We're gonna I'm gonna front kick him right anyway, in the snout. You were holding a little one. Snout? He was cute. Snout. Yeah, snout. Yeah, snout. Okay, so I guess you saw him. He's still there. He is. If you watch this, you if you fing watching my YouTube. You <laughs> pig. Um, yeah, I loved your fight with uh, Kevin Holland. Oh, awesome. Because you guys made it, I don't know, it was just, there was so much respect between the two of you, but then at the same time, it's like you two were like talking to each other. And and then like at one point, like neither of you wanted to get on the ground. You're just like, come on, like, let's go. And I, I don't know, that was just so cool. That was like one of my favorite fights. Uh, what were you guys talking to each other? About? Okay, so for one, Kevin Holland was up and coming. He's a great striker, right? And he fought, uh, I think a wrestler previously, and I fought a wrestler previously. We're like, all right, no grappling. We're gonna do a gentleman's agreement to keep the fight standing and That's keep cool. it fun for the fans. So there's a few times where I fell down and he fell down, like I stepped on his foot and he tripped over. I'm like, ah, oh, man, back up. Same thing with me. He was like, nah, dude, let's get back up and let's show these fans what's up. And then we were having like full on conversations out there. He was telling me to slow down, like, nah, bro, I'm picking it up. <laughs> Don't tell me to slow down. <laughs> And then he was like, man, this old bastard's fast. I'm like, what are you calling old, dude? Which was cool because that's how we got the Jose Cuervo commercial. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. That's yeah. cool. That's how we got the Jose Cuervo because they wanted, that was their mind. They were like, let's have two fighters talking in the cage and let's make it about that. And we did that. So we're like, these are the dudes. Let's make it happen. Oh, that's cool. I was going to ask you about the commercial too. What was that like filming? It was, it was actually, I have a whole lot of respect for like movie stars because just for that like five minute, maybe less commercial, took all freaking day. Exhausting. I can't imagine a two hour movie last, I mean, being there months. For, for months, months. And it was like, everything was timed and you had to be there and you had to stand there and you had, there was a lot of waiting and so it was waiting. wild. It was That's wild. That's the most exhausting part. But it was a cool experience. Super cool. Yeah. Okay, f yeah. Um, how do you train for someone like Michelle Pereira? Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's a karate stylist. I'm a karate stylist. He does a little capoeira, which is all the flips and stuff that you see out there. But I'm kind of used to that. You know, guys that I fight do some pretty crazy stuff. But um, I think he's going to be a little bit smarter with it this time because he's higher altitude. Mm -hmm. And that, that the flipping can be a little exhausting. 
I mean, just in general, it, watching it is, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's yeah, so it's exhausting. super tiring, but <laughs> yeah. I still think he's going to do something out there that's going to be pretty crazy. So I got to watch out for it. Yeah. So I have all my guys like dancing. Mike. Oh yeah. Dancing, yeah. doing some flips, running off the cage. They're <laughs> yeah. doing it all. What would you rate this fighter on a scale of one to 10? I would say when it comes to the fight game, I think, I think it's like a five or a six, but as a, like a comedian, definitely straight 10. <laughs> Yeah, we got to ask him how his balls are doing. I know, exactly. Derek, why'd you take your pants off? My balls was hot. That, I mean, I, don't, I wonder why he's not at the press conference. I'm really disappointed that he's not going to be at the press conference tomorrow just to see what he has to say. Yeah, it's summertime, so you know he's going through it. <laughs> um, what would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Scale 1 to 10, I would say like a 7 or 8 because you can always improve. You can't give yourself a 10, man. But maybe, okay, so... Let's break it down. Let's go striking, striking. like nine and a half, right? Okay, nine and a half. Grappling, I would say like a five. Okay, five. Five-ish. Twerking? Uh, oh, definitely, I would say a good eight and a half, maybe. Dude, your twerking's better than your grappling? I'm, at this point, yes. <laughs> so I don't know if I should go like dancing or should I just give up and, and you know, become like a, like, a, like a professional male dancer. Like step up three or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like Magic Mike. Yeah, Magic you know Mike I mean? Chippendales. There you go. There you Boom. go. All right, hell yeah. And then my last, oh look, this is the pig. That's, that's him? No, I See, don't know if that's him, but I saw it on your page. That's, yeah, that's definitely him. That's but him. His, Wait, did, the, did yours have man. tusks? Yeah, he had something going on. He just yeah. mentally See, that unwilled. was the one that was going around terrorizing everybody, so that has to be him. It has to be him. They were feeding him nachos and, and Pringles He was just coming stuff. up, biting people and saying, give me more. Give me more. So next time I go back, I'll, I'll take him out for you. Thank you. I'll have some bacon. Um, okay, so do you think other fighters would rate you the same? I think so. I, okay, so for the striking part, people are like, hey, let's see him and his Adesanya fight. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Clearing my throat. And I think they would they would rate me the same with the grappling. Maybe a little bit lower. So Got it. Respect. whatever. Whatever. Um, I don't care. What do you last question? What do you think of uh, power slap? Oh my gosh. I think as a fan it's awesome, but as an athlete, definitely would never do it. So you would never challenge anyone to a power slap match? Never. <laughs> never. Are you kidding me? You can't block. Right, you have to stay in there and take it. And what, as a man, what worst thing can happen to you than getting slapped in the face by another man? Uh, getting in the butt. A slap with the butt. You know what? You beat me. You got me there. That, that is true. That's way worse. Good old slap to the rear is definitely way worse. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.